Hi everybody, PJ Kwong from CBC Sports here with Olympic hopefuls Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier from the Ice Dance event. Well guys, you've been out internationally um, a little bit now uh, representing Canada. Piper, you have just received your Canadian citizenship. Um, <laughs> if you guys were to qualify for the Olympic team, this would be your first trip to the Olympics, Piper, and what would it mean to go to the Olympics as a Canadian? Um, for me, it'd be a huge honor. I mean, I really gotten to know a lot of the people and the fans in Canada and you know they, they're family to me now and it's my home so to be able to do that for the first time and really embrace everything and the atmosphere and all the athletes um, I'm very eager to meet hopefully all the athletes and um, all that kind of stuff and you know it'd be a huge stepping stone for us in our um, career and our partnership you know hopefully leading on to the next four years that this would be kind of a part where we can um, really grow in our relationship. <laughs> Sorry, that's my phone. And, um, you know, it'd be, it'd be a great thing in our career and a very um, memorable part. That's the thing life. about, <laughs> you know, and that's the thing about skating is that real life yeah. happens all around us, including phone calls. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, Paul, this would be your second trip to the Olympics. Yeah. If you make the Olympic team, you had a setback this year with a fairly uh, catastrophic injury to that ankle. Yeah. Um, so, what would it mean to you to go back to the Olympics? Um, I guess for me, first of all, it would be such an honor once again to represent my country on the international stage. The Olympics is really special um, for us winter athletes because it's the only chance we really get to meet athletes from other sports. Mm -hmm. And it was so great to meet so many athletes last year and I've been able to follow their careers a little bit over the last four years so it'd be really nice to um, connect with some of them again and see how much they've grown in the last four years and how much their career has changed. Um, I think for Piper and I also just given the nature of this season it would just be a confirmation to us uh, that we can overcome a lot of challenges and obstacles and we can still achieve what we want to um, and that's definitely something that we can take with us as we head into the next four years of training. So the next four years of training means to me that you're looking to the Olympics in Korea. Is that the case? Yeah. <laughs> um, already at this point you have to plan ahead. Is that true? Or tell me how you came uh, to that decision. I mean, you have to plan ahead, but I mean, we're told to really take one day at a time, especially yeah. going into this one. I mean, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves, or we're going to freak ourselves out, right? Um, but, you know, that's... I mean, we can have long-term goals, and that's just one of them. I mean, right now, our short-term, well, it's short-term now, right? Yeah, it's to yeah. Make the Olympics it's next week. week, right? So, um, you know, it's good to have those long-term ones, but we have to really focus on our short-term ones first. Of course, and I think we, Piper and I, both know that obviously, if we do qualify for these games in Sochi, mm -hmm. we're not really medal hopefuls at this point. Um, so, mm -hmm. and I think getting a medal at the Olympics and being on the world podium are definitely things we want to achieve and that will come with more time and mm -hmm. therefore it sort of just falls naturally that we'll want to you know continue skating after these games. What is the best thing about training? Um, I really like the schedule. I really like being able to have a set schedule, come in, do our job every single day. Um, I do like doing, I mean it is hard doing programs every single day but it's the chance for us to kind of really grow and make our programs better and better every single day. So that's that's my favorite part about training. Free dance is the director's cut. Yeah. It's kind of a tribute to um, Alfred Hitchcock and uh, T Tippi Hedren-ish, yeah. right? Yeah. So, Paul, can you just give me that creepy, obsessed look? Like nobody else can do it like you. I tell you what. I need the I need the <laughs> setting and the music and everything. This is okay. great. We gotta look at the camera ready. Ooh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, that <laughs> Piper Gillis and Paul Pori, thank you so much for speaking You're with welcome. me and all the thank best you. next week. Thank you.